G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today we have another Holy Stone drone here for review. Uh, this is a HS series HS110D toy grade quadcopter or drone. This does have a wide angle 1080p HD Wi-Fi camera included and as you can see here on this diagram on the front has a field of view of uh, 120 degrees here. Now this also has um, quite a few features. We have it has Wi-Fi FPV, of course, altitude hold. We have headless mode. This has a six axis gyro, 1080p camera. It is a four channel uh, drone, so four channel remote. So it has 360 flips, colorful LEDs, and a 3.7 1S LiPo. Actually, in fact, we get two LiPos with this one, okay? And on the back here, it is age 14 plus as well, so Great for teenagers or anyone that uh, is learning to fly, teenagers to adults. Uh, this would be a great one if you're a beginner to drone flying. Uh, some information about the camera. Uh, it looks like the actual LiPos are 1000 milliamp hour in size. And I believe they're good for about 10 minutes that they're stating. We also have the app QR codes on the back here as well for iOS and Android. And just a diagram here of the actual transmitter here and all the functions as well as it's showing that the phone is mounted on the top. Okay, uh, FPV distance is some specs here. Let me just tilt the box. It says it's got 150 meter range or just under. There's some specs of the camera and it says the FPV distance is under 100 meters. So that's plenty enough distance to fly around. Uh, you don't really want to fly it up to 150 meters, especially these toy grades. Um, you want to keep them pretty close and just have fun flying them around in the park. So let's open the box and we'll have a quick look at what we get and then I'll take it for a test flight. All right guys, so I got everything out of the box and I'm pretty impressed with what you get actually with this drone. There's quite a few actual spare parts as well. So give you a quick rundown what we get in the box here. Now I'm not gonna go through the user manual, but you've got a user manual here. Holy Stone uh, actually make some very good detailed user manuals, so you definitely wanna read this one. Here is the model that we're looking at today, but it looks like they also cover the HS200D within this user manual, okay? So I'm not gonna go through it, but uh, you can read that. Uh, if you purchase this drone, I suggest you do. We also get a little uh, flight log book here. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got some sticky notes there, some bookmark uh, sticky note pads, and um, yeah, it's uh, got some QR codes here as well, their Facebook group, and uh, yeah, just all notes. If you want to jot down some notes or, you know, pre-flight checklists and so forth, uh, you can put it in this little booklet, so that's pretty neat. I've seen that uh, with some other Holy Stone drones as well. Uh, we also have the phone clip here, okay, and uh, you can attach your phone. Now I can see here on the actual remote itself, we do have this uh, little hole here and on the lanyard mount. So that little uh, peg there will go into that hole and then you just screw it into the lanyard mount there, okay guys? So we'll have a look at the uh, transmitter in a second. So that's the phone holder. Like I said, we've got a lot of spares here. We've actually got spare landing gear, okay, just in case you might break one of the original ones. We've got that. We have some prop guards, okay. So these are ideal for beginner flyers, mainly indoors though. Um, I'd suggest use these indoors so you can just bump into walls and you're not gonna hurt uh, you know, any furniture, you're not gonna damage anything, or even if you accidentally bump into someone, you're not going to cut them up with the little uh, plastic props here. Okay, we also have this bag here. Now, I'm not going to open this up, but as you can see, we have a full set of props, A and B props. Um, we also have a screwdriver, some screws for the propellers, as you can see labeled there. And also, I just noticed we've got a couple of uh, light cups here, like for the dome lights here. So, we've got some dome lenses there for the lights. So, we've got two extra ones like this. Okay, just in case maybe one will crack or something. If you have, you know, a little crash or something, um, you've got some spare ones there. That's really neat. Okay, we also have one USB to micro USB charger cable. 
Now, even though this comes with two batteries, you only get one charging cable. That is because you don't actually charge the batteries uh, separately outside of the drone. You actually have to have it within the drone and charge it from the underneath here with the micro USB uh, plug here. So you have to have the battery within the actual drone itself to charge up your batteries. That's why I think they just give you one cable because you can only charge up one battery at a time. Now here is the spare battery here. Okay, and as I told you at the start of the video, it's a 3.7 volt, 1000 milliamp hour lithium ion polymer battery. Okay, and it says here, warning, only use Holystone approved chargers never disassemble or anything like that. So as you can see here, it does not have any USB port to plug into the charger. That's why, like I just mentioned, you have to have it within the actual quadcopter itself to charge. So that's the spare battery. We've got one in the quadcopter itself. So let's have a quick look. Before I look at the actual quadcopter itself, the HS110D, we'll have a look at the control here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a little uh, card here uh, showing you all the actual um, functions of the buttons here so we've got uh, trimmers just here okay we got uh, the headless mode key just down here and it looks like we got our speed switches we've got the engine start and we also got a landing button so that's going to control two different modes so you press that to start the motors and then when you're ready to land it will be an automatic uh, landing function Resync is basically rebinding button. We have our camera button. Okay, so short press for snapshots. And it says two seconds. So hold it down for two seconds for video. And we've got our 3D flip button just here, just to have a bit of fun doing some flips. I like the little LCD screen here. It looks pretty cool. Um, well, I'll put some batteries in it. And I believe this one, uh, it's got a lot of different colored LEDs, so we'll have a look at that. Okay, so I've gone and put four AA batteries in here. And uh, as you can see, it looks pretty cool, uh, this transmitter with the actual uh, different colored LEDs and beep functions to alert you with uh, what's going on and what you've chosen. So as we can see here, it's actually got a four speed function here. So you press this to go up in the speeds and down to lower it with the minus key. Shows you your roll, uh, got uh, normal and headless mode. So if you click this, we're in headless mode. It shows you that you are, and you click it again, we're in normal mode, okay? And the camera option as well. So just up here, you press the camera, and it shows you when the camera is taking a photo. If I hold it down, it does the same thing. All right, guys? So. Yeah, pretty decent little uh, remote here. And uh, I like the different colored uh, status buttons here as well. Okay guys, so before I fly it, let's have a quick look at the HS110D quadcopter here. Now as you can see, it looks like a phantom style quadcopter here. All right, and uh, we've got the Wi-Fi FPV unit on the bottom here with the 1080p camera, 120 uh, degree field of lens here it looks like it is a static camera by that you can't adjust it so it is a fixed camera uh, we've got the antenna out the back here all right now you can remove this camera by unclipping it if you wish to do so but this one actually has which is surprising really uh, this has an SD card reader okay so you can put an SD card in it now I was skeptical at first when I first looked at this I thought that maybe the SD card slot was a blank one, but uh, the listing does show that you can fit up to a 32 gigabyte SD card on this one. So that's what I'll be doing. I might put a 16 gigabyte card in there. We have the battery in the back here, as you can see, power button that I showed you before. Let's just turn it on. Let's have a look at the lights. So we've got some red lights flashing. Okay. Now uh, let's see when I bind it, they do flash up down oh now they've gone solid and if they've, yeah they've got glowing a different color actually they're sort of glowing see that it's a pretty nice light so we've got uh blue on the back and then white on the front but as you can see when i first turned it on they were all red yeah really nice lights here and obviously we've got brushed motors all around 
and the landing feet on the bottom. All right, guys. So uh, let's take it out for a flight, charge these batteries up fully, and uh, we'll have some fun with it. So I'll catch you out at the field. Right, guys, I'm out here at the field with the Holystone HS110D. Now, I just want to make a quick note of, uh, just after I'd done the unboxing overview session of this video, I did notice uh, the user manual provided with my one, maybe because there was a review sample, was all in Chinese, guys. So uh, I just basically want to look up how to do the gyroscope uh, reset, how to do the stick commands, and uh, I actually couldn't find any diagrams in there um, regarding that, but I did work it out. So what I'm going to show you quickly is how to do that. Just turn the quadcopter on, turn the transmitter on, up and down. Now usually with toy grade drones, you go two sticks down to the left or the right and that will work for a gyroscope, okay? Let me just get out of the, the actual light there so you can see the lights are flashing. Uh, there was no indication on the user manual, okay? So what I did was just play around the sticks. That didn't work either down and out but i did find out up and out is how you do the gyroscope reset okay see the flashing up and out okay that was not what i could see in the user manual itself there's another function that i noticed too for how to kill the motors uh in the user manual it tells you to press these two simultaneously it was just a diagram showing that so Basically, I've started the motors and then we'll press these two buttons up the top, the camera button and the flip button simultaneously at the same time. And that is your kill switch button or your emergency stop button. Okay guys, so I'm gonna set it up on the app and start a screen recording and then we'll head out to the field. It's rather windy today, but we'll see how we go. All right guys, I'm in the Holy Stone app here. I'm gonna click enter device. And as you can see, we have Wi-Fi FPV. Okay. Thank you for a flight. Now it is rather windy at the moment. It's about midday. But uh, this has four speeds, so it should be okay. We'll see how it goes anyway. So I'm going to bump that up to speed four. I'm not going to mess around with the other speeds. I'm going to take a video recording. I do have an SD card in it, and it is beeping as you can hear. Let's take it up for a flight. Now it does continuously beep. Okay, so here we are, we're flying it around. Hopefully, it is recording to the SD card. It's just like another model of uh, quadcopter, uh, it does beep as you're recording. Let's try a flip. So it is rather windy out there guys, hopefully uh, there's not too much wind noise on my camera. If there is, I apologise. But it is a nice day to fly, we've been having a bit of rain so this is my only opportunity. Does some nice flips. Send it out there. It's a nice smooth flyer. And the Wi-Fi FPV connection looks pretty good. Just glimpsing down at my phone now and again. It's supposed to be a 1080p camera. Bring it down this way, bring it down a bit lower. Get away from that wind. Wide angle lens here. Do a flyby over the top of me. <laughs> Try another flip, barrel roll. Nice. Bring it back. This has got some decent speed here. Pretty decent flying quadcopter. All right. Now we're meant to get about 10 minutes flight time. I don't know about that today. This fighting wind, I'm in the full rate. So that 10 minutes, I'm, I'm guessing, would be an ideal 
low to no wind conditions or indoor flying. It is only a thousand milliamp hour lipo, but you do get two of them. Really nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop that recording. Okay, it looks like the Wi-Fi feed is showing me doing barrel rolls, so... I'll hold that button down. Hopefully that recording stops. Yeah, the recording has stopped now. I'm going to take some photos. So just let it sit there. Quick snapshot. Done the camera snapshot sound on the app. Take it up a bit higher. Okay, turn it around. I'll bring it back a bit because it's getting pushed by the wind. Just take a few snapshots of the field. Take one of that building and the grandstand there. Alright. So it's got great altitude hold. I mean, it's getting, it's coping with the wind, but it's staying at a pretty decent uh, level of altitude there. Take another photo over there. And on the actual phone itself, it actually looks all right. Like the camera looks pretty decent. I think this might be actually proper 1080p footage. We'll have to see about that, but uh, Usually, some quadcopters state 1080p and then you put it into your computer files to have a look at them, they're actually like 720 or they're not what they're claimed. But this one does actually look very clear. And it's meant to have about 150 meter range, which I'm not going to push that. I'll take some more video. And we do get that beeping noise. You still do flips. I'm not going to demonstrate headless mode, guys, because of the wind. But you got headless mode if you like that. And also, there are different functions uh, on the app here, which I might revisit on in, on another video. I'm just going to go for the basic flight. Get a bit of a flight time for you. And also, I'm just interested in the camera. So we are fighting wind. That's an understatement, actually. <laughs> and uh, it's doing rather well, especially in this fourth speed rate. There it is there. It's just, it's just getting taken away with this wind. But it's holding its own. It's got enough power to fly in this wind, not a problem. Like I said, I'll test some of the other app features in another video. I'll try my best to bring it out early in the morning next time and uh, on a calmer day. It's just very hard every time I, uh, even on the calmest of mornings, every time I end up going to a field, the wind picks up anyway. <laughs> That's just the weather here in Perth. It's, uh, I live pretty close to the coast and it's unavoidable. most of the time anyway check out the yaw try to do some funnels here bring it down a bit get a good look at it again so far it's a really nice fire guys really nice and smooth nice and quiet too those brushed motors get a whole bunch of spare parts as well great little flyer this would make a great Christmas gift I think for sure for your teenager or even for an adult starting out you'll get plenty of flight time out of those two batteries so I'm just gonna end that recording too just so I got some decent recording to put on the uh, video here Let's just uh, fly it around, have some fun. See if I can do some flips and barrel rolls still, eh? Yes, and this is what I really like. 
with these toy grade quads where you can actually do it on the move. You see, I was full pitch forward and I could actually do a barrel roll or a front flip as I am going. Now it's stopped doing it, so we must be in LVC. Yes, we are. I can see some lights flashing now. So that was the last flip. Let me get it above me here and you'll see the lights on the bottom are flashing. It's just there, hopefully you can see that. I know it's hard to see in the daylight, but the lights are flashing on the bottom of the quad now on the HS110D. We'll keep flying it out. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the end of the uh, of the flight time there, guys. Okay. So that was a pretty decent flight time considering the amount of wind that I had here today, this afternoon. Um, on a calmer day, we're going to get a bit better flight time for sure. I was in speed rate four that whole time. Otherwise, I think if I was any lower than that, maybe speed rate three would have been okay. But anything lower than that, two or one, this uh, would have struggled, especially in this wind. But uh, overall, I'm very happy with this uh, little quadcopter. It flew really great, nice and smooth. Reminds me of another quadcopter that I started learning to fly on, which is the uh, old X5C. This has more of a phantom look to it. The camera looked great. I'm glad it's got an SD card recorder here, actual DVR. As you can see, I've got an SD card in there. It's a class 10 I've got in there, ver verbatim, uh, or sand disc, one of the two. Uh, it's a 32 gigabyte. Now this can take up to a 32 gigabyte card. So uh, there you have it. That is a HS 110D from Holystone. I'll definitely leave a link in the description, guys. I do recommend this one. It uh, flew rather well in this these pretty high winds today. And uh, I would say we had 20 kilometer an hour winds, up to 20 kilometer an hour winds just now, and uh, it seemed to handle it quite well. The controls on this uh, transmitter are really nice as well. Very responsive and smooth. All the buttons work as they should. And uh, yeah, it's a great, uh, FPV flyer, that's for sure. You take some video with it. Great beginner's drone. So uh, check it out in the link below, guys. It is on Amazon. So anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching my review on the HS110D from Holystone. Great beginner's quad. And I'll catch you next time. Until then, happy flying. Bye for now.